summer if there is one thing that anyone craves for it's copious amounts of lemonade or iced tea chilled to perfection these work perfectly well why would you have an iced tea when you can have an iced tea jelly style it up either with some peach or lychees and have a perfect treat for an evening tea time snack I like to pair these with my sesame chai and feta crusted cookies that work perfectly well. Sultry innocence coming alive yet elegantly stylish. Let's get to creating it. This dessert is so simple. All you do is take an iced tea and all of us at some point of time have created an iced tea and just add some gelatin to it and create this gorgeous creation. Out here I've taken 5 Assam tea bags with 500 ml of water, got the water nice and hot, steeped the tea bags in for a good 3 minutes and I have my concoction ready. While this sits on the side, I'm just going to bloom the gelatin where I've got 2 tablespoons of gelatin out here and I'm going to bloom it in about 120 ml of water just so that they soak up and bloom and get ready to go straight into my simmering pot of water here. While the gelatin blooms in the water, it's time to add the sweetener to our decoction. And I'm using a jug that makes things so easy to pour it and set it. So, technically you can use fresh fruit, but I like to use canned fruit because the syrup comes really handy. So I'm using a can of peaches, about six peach halves. And I've taken about 200 ml of that gorgeous thick sugar syrup, heavily scented with the flavors of peach. Just pour that into the jug and allow it to mix and settle on the side and while the hot water is simmering and the gelatin has bloomed really well in the water you just pour that in and allow everything to mix together this way the gelatin gets nice and translucent and just mixes in this pot so while this mixes all we are going to do is Pour it straight into the jug. While the gelatin has melted into this water, 500 ml of the water work perfectly well in ensuring that it's ready to go into that tea decoction. And this balances out the flavor really well. All we're going to do is pour this into the jug. And allow it to come down to room temperature. While I do allow this highly flavorful peach scented tea wonder to cool down to room temperature on the side, it's time to create that cookie dough and allow it to chill in the fridge. So out here I've got about 250 grams of self-rising flour. Now if you do not have self-rising flour, take 250 grams of refined flour one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of salt. So put that into a bowl, 250 grams of it. To that you add 250 grams of salted yellow butter just so that it forms that crumbly texture. With that goes 120 grams of feta cheese roughly crumbled. I love the saltiness that feta brings and 4 tablespoons of parmesan cheese grated as well. Lastly, in goes 8 to 10 chives just snipped with a scissor to give you those specks of green within. Now put your fingers in and allow the dough to come together, crumbly in nature and quite fun to work with. While we are definitely bursting with the heat of summer, you need to work on this really fast. Just allow everything to come together and allow the butter to incorporate with the self-rising flour. As we bring this together, we're just going to chill it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes till it holds its shape, ready to be rolled into balls. Styling this up further, I'm just going to invert a canned peach half into my glass bowl and 
jellies always require some kind of fancy crockery to serve it in and the jug comes really handy by just pouring the peach iced tea jelly into it such a simple and beautiful creation while this takes nearly two hours to set in that meantime you're ready to enjoy tea with those great and divine cookies You have the Herculean task of allowing these to set inside. With the dough chilled for 30 minutes and having preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, it's time to just roll this and coat it with some sesame seeds and bake it. Now you roughly take two or three teaspoons full of the dough and just roll it into perfect round balls. Allow them to sit and we will get to coating it into that beautiful sesame crust on top. The only difficult part about these gorgeous cookies are getting 26 even round balls. So while they are done, you take 75 grams of toasted white sesame seeds and just roll them in. As you get a perfect crust all around, it's time to put them on a parchment lined baking sheet giving it about an inch and a half of a gap in between the two and we are going to just press it down with the impressions of a fork and put them straight into that preheated oven. With the fork just give it some kind of impressions on top and smash it down slightly not too much you want the four ridges to come together really well. You need to bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for just about 12 minutes till they are crispy exterior and soft and gooey within. 12 minutes of allowing these gorgeous chive and sesame crusted with that perfect feta cheese cookies are ready. They have that glorious golden brown color and they've retained their shape pretty well. Any cracks on them tell you that you're on the perfectly right track. While we allow these to cool just so that they come down to room temperature, these are ready to be enjoyed. With the cookies well cooled and come down to room temperature and my gorgeous peaches bubbling in the iced tea jelly, we are ready for a perfect tea time treat, wonder, snack, a mix of one or two things coming together. Perfect in this heat of that hot, hot summer. I hope you enjoyed creating another one. Simple, elegant, yet two totally different flavors coming together. The end result being an explosion of flavors during the entire experience. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always, always, always say, don't forget to subscribe. Here I am where the movie started, facing at a photo they've taken, space tree flying through the skies and battles happen and